J5 has always been synonymous with Ranger. From the first J-Class Ranger that won the 1937 America's Cup to the present day Ranger launched in 2004, J5 has always been Ranger's sale number. So we're aboard Ranger, um, I'm Captain, is Alistair, been here for about two years with us. It is a uh, replica of the 1937 America's Cup boat. It's a full J class. In those days, she was named this, dubbed the Super J for size and power. We've got a 180 foot mast. We've got a 64 foot boom, which is about the same length as three, three full size Land Rovers. We uh, carry two uh, 16 meter spinnaker poles at the front there, which uh, helps us maneuver the enormous kites we have, enormous spinnakers. We have 14 sails on board when we're racing, which uh, get piled up all over the place. Which is quite amusing. We have lots of uh, lots of instrumentation these days to help us along, which they obviously didn't have in the 19, uh, 1937. But we've got uh, our 17 B and G units running simultaneously all the time to help us navigate and help us uh, control the speed and um, the angle we're sailing at. We've got a uh, main sail up here is about 5,000 square feet, 5,000 square meters, sorry. And um, right now we're off Antigua, moving along, doing 12, 12 to 14 knots. Built in Denmark at Danish Yacht, Ranger's steel hull is the same material as the Ranger of 1937. However, her sailing prowess is aided by modern technology. From her carbon fiber mast, boom, and standing rigging to powerful hydraulic winches and a hidden anchor that deploys underneath the water. Ranger's, uh, Ranger's got the um, full mechanical steering, which means she's, uh, she's got a chain, chain to, uh, to rope for steering, goes on to a large quadrant, which makes her much, uh, much more se um, sensitive in the feel of the boat when you're steering her, unlike a hydraulic system, which you wouldn't get any feedback from the wheel. And here, as you can see, I'm just steering along very easily with just my fingertips. Very easy to control and very smooth. Well, out here, you can see in the background here how much we got in the way of uh, waves and wind and uh, she's moving along very, very smoothly and barely having to move the wheel here. The Ranger is a, a true replica of the 1937 um, America's Cup J-Class. It's um, although being a, um, a replica built five years ago, it's built to Lloyd standards and MCA approved, so it's uh, it complies with all the uh, modern requirements. It's, um, as you can see, we've got a what wasn't original and wouldn't have been on the original boat was a, a nice cockpit area and a, a doghouse like we have here, which um, really makes her improves her for uh, modern use and makes her. Uh, wonderful for uh, trips as well as racing. Makes it uh, you get the best of both worlds with it. Really, you've got a uh, 1937 America's Cup boat, which is uh, which is very comfortable to uh, live aboard and sail. Captain Alistair occasionally relinquishes the helm to guests. You can see for yourself, Ranger really is easy to steer. Obviously, owner, guests, and crew alike participate in the thrill of sailing Ranger. But once the sailing's over, what does Ranger offer? The comfort of the cockpit and doghouse, built of carbon fiber no less, are definitely a departure from the original flush deck ranger. Down below, high gloss mahogany with raised paneling evokes old world charm. Yet thanks to modern know-how, the interior is completely separated from the actual hull, which makes it very quiet inside. Going forward to the main saloon, natural light coming through a traditional butterfly hatch above 
fills the beautiful classic room. Dining is to starboard. A lounge area with a well-hidden TV and entertainment center is to port. All the way aft, the full-width master stateroom is a welcome sanctuary after an active day of sailing. The queen bed takes center stage. Plenty of storage, a sofa, and well-concealed entertainment center are appreciated additions to this room. The ensuite tiled bathroom is in keeping with the 1930s style, which, as you see, is reflected throughout Ranger. Forward of the master stateroom is a small navigation area tucked to port and three guest staterooms. The first guest stateroom we come to is a cozy room with staggered bunk beds. Next forward, across from the companionway, is a day head, which is also en suite to the port double stateroom. Across to starboard is another double, which makes a total of four staterooms. A Pullman berth that drops from the ceiling in each of the double guest staterooms makes sleeping arrangements very versatile. A private bathroom is directly connected to this stateroom. Forward of the dining area are the galley, replete with modern amenities, and crew quarters. Crew cabins are forward. Laundry and the crew mess complete this area. Above and below decks, Ranger is a testament to the countless hours spent on fitting modern technologies into the form of a vintage yacht that also conforms to the J-Class Association's rules for racing. Whether you enjoy Ranger in racing mode or as a cruising yacht, you will appreciate luxury living and the thrill of exquisite sailing.